Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the endodontic anatomy of the maxillary second premolar. This is the mesiodistal outline of the maxillary second premolar. So maxillary second premolar has two cusps. One is the buccal cusp and the second cusp is the lingual cusp and this tooth it has a single root. So out of two pulp points, only one pulp point is visible. That is a buccal pulp point. And the pulp point is, is not very sharp. It is blunt. And the root canal, it gradually it tapered towards the root apex. And it opens at the apex of the root. Gradually tapers and open at the apex of the root but sometimes there's a mesial or distal opening of the apical foramen as well so the canal number of canal is only one in most of the cases this is the buccal uh, lingual outline of the maxillary second premolar the two well-developed pulp points, they are visible. The buccal pulp point, it is slightly more developed as compared to the, as compared to the lingual pulp point. So the pulp chamber and the canal, they are very broad buccolingually. So they are quite broad buccolingually as compared to the mesiodistal dimensions. Similarly, this with the canal as well. So there is very little demarcation between the pulp chamber and the canal when you look at the endodontic anatomy from the, from the proximal aspect. In the apical third of the root canal, in the apical third of the tooth, there is abrupt constriction and usually the canal it opens at the apex of the tooth but sometimes there is slight lingual or buccal opening as well so this is the most common configuration of the maxillary second premolar single canal and two pulp horns Now, there are variations in the endodontic anatomy as well. For example, in some cases, there are two pulp canals instead of one single pulp canal. So, the pulp chamber, it is essentially just the same, like the two pulp horns. But the canals, they are two with separate foramina, with separate apical foramina. So there are two pulp horns and two canals with separate apical openings. There are some other variations as well, but those are very rare. But uh, there are variations beside this variation as well. So this is the first canal. This is the second canal. This is the second or the lingual canal. Now, uh, let's discuss the cross section of uh, this tooth. So, the cross section at the cervical area first. So, in the cervical area, the cross section of the tooth, it is oval in shape. This is the buccal side and this is the lingual side, sometimes also referred as the palatal aspect. The canal, it is at the cervical area, it is oval and it is centered within the root. Now, in the apical third, the root, it is rounded. And the canal, it is also 
it follows also the shape of the root. So in the apical portion, the canal, it is bounded and it is centered within the within the root. Now, with advancing age, there is more deposition of the secondary and the tertiary dentine. So, the size of the pulp chamber, it is reduced. And also the canal as well. So, so the, the pulp horn, it become more blunt. And the size of the chamber, it also reduces because of deposition of the secondary dentine, which is a physiological dentine, and tertiary dentine, which deposit in response to dental caries or at region. Similarly, in the buccolingual section as well, there is reduction in the buccolingual width of the pulp chamber and the canal. The pulp horns, they also become more blunt, means they are not very sharp. Though the pulp horns of the second premolar, they are less sharp as compared to the first premolar or on the canine. You can see the difference between a young and an old dental pulp chamber and the canal by this color difference. Similarly, in the cross sections, the shape is the same, but there is reduction in the size. So this is all about the endodontic anatomy of the maxillary second premolar. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Please do give us your feedback in the comments. Uh, please uh, do also visit our Instagram page at Dental Edu Hub for questions, images, and flashcards. So thank you very much for watching this lecture and stay blessed.